What's up YouTube? It's Elijah One Dream and we're back again with another NBA 2K24 build video. And in today's video, we are actually going to be making a point guard. Now this is a Magic Johnson, Oscar Robertson type of point guard. And as you see on your screen right here, we are six foot eight. And that was the same height the Magic and Oscar Robertson both were. And again, this is like a past first point guard with a 98 pass accuracy. Now there was a stretch for about a week or two. I was playing random rec and I kept getting put with point guards that were purely offensive point guards with no defense they were shoot first point guards as well and it was just absolutely frustrating to play with so i was like i want to make a point guard that is going to have high pass accuracy and high defense so we can spread the ball around and be able to guard up top and if i do get taken into the paint i'm not completely useless and we do get bronze anchor on this build now those pure offensive point guards with no defense they only work for a certain amount of people you really have to be like that on offense if you're not going to have defense and there are some players out there even without that defense that can play defense so big shout out to WAP6 make sure you guys go and check out his YouTube channel every single year he makes small point guards and he is a demon I even seen he posted some clips of a six foot ten build that had no defense and he was cooking up and he was still playing defense as well so again those builds are only useful for a small number of players a lot of people think they can use them but then they bring them out into the rack they get absolutely cooked and then they can can't shoot either even with a 99 three ball whatever it might be and they're only looking for their shot they didn't upgrade their pass accuracy either it just got super frustrating so i was like let me run on the point guard i want to get 98 pass accuracy hall of fame needle threader let's start dotting up people and i am a pass first type of player and this is exactly how i would play the point guard always looking to pass first looking for cutters whatever it might be looking to score second i want to pass the ball move the ball around share the ball spread the love and play a team game so now let's get into the build of course we're a point guard six foot eight like i said 219 pounds and a max wingspan of seven foot six and so for our finishing we went with the 91 driving layup that way we can still get to the rack and we can get still some of these nice gold and hall of fame finishing badges like gold for this finisher slithery hall of fame acrobat gold bunny hall of fame pro touch scooper flow game giant slayer spin cycle two step and then silver whistle again if it was more like a true magic johnson build we would put more of a close shot on this because magic did have that post hook in his game but again in takeover you might even be able to still hit a post hook here and there especially in finishing takeover plus 10 with an 81 close shot in finishing takeover you still might be able to hit that post hook i haven't really tried it maybe i'll still hop on this build before the end of 2k25 but we have exactly one week left until that game drops so i might have to try it out really quickly but even then i have tried builds with close shots with 80s close shot and you can still post hook green so again this build can't dunk but still you have great finish around the rim and you can utilize that Devin Booker floater from way far out and take advantage of that and of course we can shoot the ball we ended up with an 84 mid-range so we get silver blinders we can get that gold catch and shoot silver dead eye green machine space creator spot finder gold guard up midi magician silver open looks gold comeback kid and again silver whistle there was no point in going to the 85 mid-range I don't believe that gave us any extra badges or if it did it wasn't one that was necessarily super important and I had to go down to a 76 three ball this is the threshold where you get bronze agent threes and I already knew that I could green with a 73 three ball for my seven foot three with max wingspan so I knew a 76 would be fine and I'm looking to only take open threes I'm not really trying to shoot contested threes or anything like that if you hit me and I'm wide open gold catch and shoot silver open looks you get your hot zones you should be able to spark from deep no problem with the 76 rating and again we get silver corner specialist and a lot of the same badges that you've seen earlier as well unfortunately only a 63 throw it would have been nice to get up to that 7 71 for bronze at least but just the way the build worked out this is what we had to go with and like i said 98 pass accuracy so we get that gold bailout which i don't really use a ton i don't like to get bailed out by that badge which is kind of funny but try and make your decisions before you drive so you don't have to go up in the air and try and pass out but we do get hall of fame break starter dimer needle threader relay passer touch passer and hall of fame special delivery so you get the ultimate boost from this build hall of fame dimer even special delivery off of that so people can be really knocking down their jump shots and of course a little bit of ball handle 84 ball handle i wish i could have went 85 in hindsight that probably would have been better but again in order to get the defense that i wanted and some of the other ratings i had to sacrifice that one little bit of ball handle and again i'm not looking to be a crazy dribbler with this build i'm looking for the pass first so it wasn't super important to me but again it would have been nice to get some of those 85 ball handle animations but still we get some silver and bronze badges along with hall of fame physical handles and again 75 speed with ball it just made the most 
sense to go there. I don't believe you got any extra animations or levels of badges by going past that 75. So again, it gives us a few silver badges. And I wanted to get bronze anchor on this build as well, just in case somebody did take us into the paint. That way we can still block their shots and not be a complete liability in the defense. So that's kind of the difference with that T-Mac build. So I do have 80 perimeter defense on that, but I don't have any interior defense. So if somebody takes me to the paint, you're not going to block a shot. And a lot of the time they can go like right through you kind of. It's a little bit weird, but I wanted to have that bronze anchor for sure. And a 93 perimeter defense. So you are six foot eight and basically a lockdown with this too. So pretty much like a two-way playmaking type of build, but you get gold clamps, ankle braces, challengers, silver fast feet, gold pick dodger, 94 feet, workhorse, and hall of fame off ball pest. And again, I am a veteran too. So I do get plus two to all of these defensive stats. So I actually get a 95 perimeter defense. So again, in takeover, that's a 99 perimeter defense on a six foot eight at the point guard position. You can really lock up the other guards, especially if they do have a small guard, actually. You got a big body with a big wingspan and a 99 perimeter defense with cool challenger. You can get contests on quite a bit of their shots. I have made a lot of those smaller guards mad playing on this build. And their steal is a 53. That just ties in with the 93 perimeter defense. And again, like I said, I wanted bronze anchor. So we had to go with the 77 block and a 61 interior defense. And again, Magic and Oscar both could grab rebounds. Unfortunately, we couldn't put any rebounding on this build, but we are at the point guard position and the center and power forward should have lots of rebounding. So again, you can leak out, get some fast break opportunities, or even sometimes if the big men are guarding a stretch and they're stuck out there and you do crash, you can get some defensive rebounds and you can also utilize that Hall of Fame break starter as well. For speed is an 81. I believe we needed that for hyperdrive or speed booster. I can't exactly remember, but the same thing with the 73 acceleration. I went with an 83 strength it would have been nice for 84 to get that silver bulldozer badge but again it's not super necessary and bronze is absolutely fine as well too but I wanted to be able to get that hall of fame physical handles and we can still get gold fearless gold clamps silver immovable enforcer and silver brick wall and i did not increase my vertical we don't have any dunking we don't have any rebounding our block rating is kind of like a last resort type of thing so i did not increase the vertical and last but not least our stamina at 95 so we get silver handles for days gold 94 feet and gold workhorse so there we have it the six foot eight magic johnson oscar robertson build and we can go ahead and click continue and we do get shades of Tyrese Halliburton, Drew Holiday, and Oscar Robertson, of course. It would have been nasty to get a Magic Johnson comparison, but again, I think it needed a little bit more close shot and probably some more rebounding in there since Magic actually did play at the center position once Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was hurt and he had an absolutely monster 40 point game. So he can absolutely rebound the ball. Oscar Robertson also missed a triple double, so he could also rebound the ball as well too, but we did get that comparison. So really cool. And it does come out to a two way inside the arc mate. Next, we'll get into some animations, jump shot, how to upgrade the build, and of course, some rec center gameplay. Once again, we are a week away from NBA 2K25, so do not make this build. Save your money for NBA 2K25. I cannot stress that enough. I just got to get this content content out before 25 comes so i didn't waste this it is crazy to be uploading build videos this late in the year but again gotta get these out gotta get my hard drive clear so we're uploading and dumping everything but again do not make this build at this point in the year still wanted to drop it and show you guys what i made and how to make it so we want that 91 driving layup so you can get those nice golden hall of fame finishing badges of course you want that 84 mid-range and 76 three ball so you can still shot create from the mid-range and of course spark from deep 98 pass accuracy absolutely that was one of the main reasons why I made this build. So you for sure want that rating. 84 ball handle and 75 speed with ball. If you wanted, as you see here, we only get that 53 interior defense and the 77 block. So we don't quite meet the requirements for bronze anchor. But if you're okay with dropping the ball handle down to like say an 80, whatever it might be, something like that. And then you wanted to increase this up for a bronze anchor and you can put this. So that is something else that you can do. But if you'd rather have the 84 ball handle and the lower interior defense, totally up to you but again this really isn't meant to be a dribbling type of build so I would definitely recommend to get that bronze anchor and you can really
really be a lockdown point guard as well too so like i said 61 tier defense that 93 perimeter defense plus two since i'm a veteran too which is a 95 perimeter defense at six foot eight and you still get bronze anchor so you can get some chase down blocks whatever it might be it can be extremely nice and of course that 77 block to match that 61 interior defense for bronze anchor as well and then of course maxing out all the physicals except for the vertical so 81 speed 73 excel 83 strength and 95 stamina so this would cost you 294 k vc but once again please do not make this build at this point in the year save your vc for nba 2k25 and very quickly we can run through the animations i will get into the jump shot after this but our free throw is underhand i've just been finding it fairly easy to green even with a lower rating and like i was talking about that devin booker layup style so you can get that nasty floater from far away and utilize that 91 driving layup and hall of fame float game no dunk style since we have zero dunking on this build triple pull up is pro 2 spin jumper is also pro hop jumper is devin booker post fade pro 2 post hook joel Embiid. post top shot kobe bryant and the motion style i went with andre iguodala and on this build i went with tyrese halliburton pass style i do like demantis simonis but that's mainly for his outlet passing but on this build you don't really get a ton of rebounds so i went with tyrese halliburton dribble style is pro signature size up is dwayne wade regular breakdown combo paul george aggressive breakdown combo demar Rosen. escape moves jimmy buckets combo moves james harden crossover is john wall behind the back jamal murray spin is penny hardaway hesitation pro step back john wall triple threat style I go with Michael Jordan and the jump shot that I've been using on this build is Zach Levine base I actually like this base it's a little bit slower it's not the quickest but I find it has an easy cue and an easy green window to green and I went with Oscar Robertson release one Sabit Bay release two with an 80% on Oscar Robertson 20% on Sabit Bay and 100% speed and as you see in the bottom right you get a minus release height b plus release speed b defensive immunity and a b timing stability so like I said it's not the fastest jump shot so you do have to make sure that you are open but again a lot of people sleep on this build from the three-point line they see two-way inside the arc maestro they think that you're not able to shoot but again this is a very nice and smooth base as soon as it reaches pretty much the top of his head or at the peak you can release it and it's going to be a green but again get your hot zones get your lethal zones get your shooting boosts everything like that and you can absolutely be smart so there we have it how to make the build how to upgrade the build the animations and the jump shot all we have left to do is to get into some rec center gameplay all right so here we We've got a 40.3 rebound, 12 assist, 2 steal, and 0 block gameplay on 16 of 18 shooting and 8 of 9 from 3 point land on the 6 foot 8 Magic Johnson build. Now, Magic Johnson definitely wasn't shooting 8 of 9 from 3 point land, but with the 76 3 point rating, you guys can see how green you can still get this jump shot to be with that Zach Levine base. And in this gameplay right here, it's a little bit interesting. We get 9 straight assists mainly to the center they just kept leaving him wide open magic and Shaq connection absolutely fire again he kept beating them down the court he had some high finishing so that was easy assists all the way then we end up scoring six points right before the end of the first half and dropping 34 points in the second half honestly my matchup just started leaving me open the game was sold at that point so he just kind of gave up and quit but again I see him wide open, dish it off to Shaq, he gets him with the pump fake or the little hesitation and takes it up on him and gets a nice contact dunk. But again, 98 pass accuracy and I am a pass first type of player. So this is exactly how I would want to play point guard. I love passing to people, finding the open man, and really a passer at heart. And in NBA 2K25, they did finally drop some badge requirements. And in my first center build, I am aiming to get Hall of Fame break starter. And what is needed for that is a 93. Now, that will be left open. I'm not sure if I'm going to make a 7.0, 7 7.2, or a 7.3 yet. I am kind of thinking of starting off with like the 7.2 glitchy glass cleaner type of build. But again, I'm not 100% sure on that. I kind of want to see what other ratings I can get but we did see max wingspans have been brought down about an inch or two depending on the height and the shooting stats for seven footers are about the same I did see with the max wingspan seven footer it is another 74 three ball and a max wingspan seven foot three is also 73 three ball once again now you only get bronze set shot specialist with that rating so it might be a little bit harder to shoot this here with the 73 but again in joe Nose's video he was shooting with ja morant who had a 78 three ball and he was consistently greening so again 
with custom jump shots and the custom releases and the release points is what I should say. You find the right combination, you get your hot zones. I believe hot zones are back in here, I can't exactly remember, but still, you will be able to shoot with that low 70s 3 ball if you are skilled enough. But again, I'm still debating whether I want to go to a 93 or a 94 pass accuracy, because once I get 5 of my cap breakers, I could start getting legend dimer, legend break starter, and legend versatile visionary. Again, I could also go to a 95 pass accuracy and then I would only have to waste 4 cap breakers to get to that 99. So I got a little bit of decisions to make, but definitely I want to make at least a 93 pass accuracy big to start off with and a 92 defensive rebound big as well. I do want to make him be able to shoot. Eventually I will make an inside center as well too. You guys seem to absolutely love some inside centers and I just dropped 12 hours of gameplay on an inside center that I made for NBA 2K24. So definitely looking to bring those back. Definitely looking to bring back a 7 foot 3 Trailblazers Arvita Sabonis build and I would like to make a 7 foot 3 Prime Arvita Sabonis slash Victor Wembanyama type of build, of course. Joey made a really fire 7 foot 3 Victor Wembanyama type build too. That build looks extremely fun. And his ISO 7 foot 1 playmaking stretch 5. That looks like it would be a ton of fun as well. And I wanted to see if I could get speed boosted in one of the takeovers on a seven footer and in his build at seven foot one i believe that is going to be the cap because you need a 70 speed and i think that's all you can get at seven foot one is the 70 around speed there seven foot two you won't be able to get that 70 speed but it is a takeover you can boost your speed plus seven midi plus seven and three ball plus seven that could be extremely cheese on a seven footer so you could get up to like a 77 speed and be an absolute nightmare for your matchup but hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you drop a like hit that sub if you're new we'll catch you in the next one peace